Okay, now we are on the most beautiful place in this Gyeongbokgung Palace. Here's name is Gyeonghwaru Pavilion. Uh, this Gyeonghwaru Pavilion is a great spot, so maybe you sit here and take some photos. Like many people, many tourists take pictures here, as having this like as a background. Okay, uh, as you're done with taking pictures, I'll start introducing this place. Uh, Gyeonghwaru Pavilion was the place of the official banquet for the royal family and other servants from other countries to have parties or somethings. It was also a place for royal family's entertainment. Uh, so here, for example, it says the King Sejong who made our language Hangul uh, played Tuho, which is a Korean traditional play that puts an arrow, a similar thing, into the box. Uh, he played here, he played that here right here a lot like this is the um basic thing of this Gyeonghwaru Pavilion and, and I will talk about more specific things from now on and before I start <laughs> I will just start with about one thing more and it is about these columns here as you can see or as if it is a little hard to see but there are 48 columns uh in the first floor uh 24 outside and 24 inside the 24 ones means the 24 seasons, not the four seasons, but 24 seasons in Korea. Uh, inside, uh, there are 12 squares made by the columns, and they represent 12 months. And now, can you see the up of this part, the roof? Uh, I think you will see the small figurines. Uh, it doesn't look like figurines right here because it's very small, but they are figurines and they are characters. Um, Gangheru has the most many ones in this Gongbokgung Palace, of which are 11 at all. Um, then, I guess you might wonder, or you might not, but you might wonder how what what these characters are. You might think that they are just nothing, or you might think that they are made for this uh, Gyeonghwaru Pavilion. However, it is actually a character in Seoyugi, which is a Chinese novel. So these figurines are like Son Ogong or Samjang, <laughs> you don't have to know that, but that kind of characters that come out in that novel. This time maybe you see the uh, under of no, the bottom of here, which is a lake water. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Uh, the second thing I want to talk about you is the bronze dragons. Uh, there are actually two dragons, or there were actually two dragons in this lake. Uh, one in the north, one in the south and on each side of the water and they were there to control this lake uh, but now one is found and placed in the museum but other one hasn't be, been found so we don't know where he, where it is but yeah it's gone <laughs> so we're not sure we're not sure where, where it is um now i'm i think i'm done with introducing the structures here, so now I'm going to talk about an uh, interesting story about this Gyeonghwaru Pavilion. It might be a little boring, but I think it is fun, so just listen to it. Uh, there was a person or a servant called Gu Zhongji. Uh, Mr. Gu was not a high rank official, so he was walking down this Gyeonghwaru Pavilion without permission. So she, he shouldn't have been here, but he was here. But at the same time, King Sejong was walking down here, so they met. So it means that Gu Zhongjik shouldn't have been here, but he met King Sejong, which is a big thing, and that Gu Zhongjik has to be punished a lot. However, the King Sejong didn't uh, punish him first, but made him sing a song, and he sang very well. So he made him uh, read a book, but without seeing the book, but just in memory. The book's name was Chun Chu. And it was very interesting that Gu Zhongji read that book without any flaws perfectly in his memory. So King Sejong was very impressed and made his rank go up a lot. So when the other officials said that this isn't fair so and other thing, the King Sejong said that then who can read this Chun Chu without uh, seeing the book? So. Uh, just in conclusion, Gu Zhongjik got, got a high rank official because of King Sejong, even he walked down this Gyeonghwaru Pavilion without his permission. Now we're done with this Gyeonghwaru Pavilion. I think it was a little 
like swift thing but um i wish that it was fun for you so let's, let's go to the next part